Block 25 of the Tunisian Sampler Afghan is the basket weave. Uh, the basket weave takes advantage of two stitches, the knit stitch and the purl stitch. And it alternates them in series of three, as far as the stitches, and series of three rows, with each starting the same. And then on the alternating rows, we start with the purl. So you'll start with the knit stitches here, purl, knit, purl, and you just go all the way across and back. This is very similar to the mock basket weave. The difference is that um, you use the purl stitch with the simple stitch on the mock basket weave versus the purl stitch and the knit stitch on this particular block. For the first row, you start with a base row if you're doing individual blocks. If you're adding, like I am here, where I just add the block onto the sashing and continue on, um, you do a simple stitch row. Then you start your pattern. My blocks are 36 stitches wide and 29 rows long. And always keep in mind that on the left side, your very first stitch is um, actually the two stitches that you yarned over and pulled through from the, the previous row, that's your first stitch. So here you're actually going to count that as one, then you do two knit stitches, then you go to the three, 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 all the way across. And um, that's just basically it. I'm not going to de demonstrate the knit stitch and the purl stitch because I've done it on numerous occasions with previous blogs. I will have links below so that you can review how to form a knit stitch, which was block five of the sampler, or a purl stitch, which was block two. So this is block 25, the basket weave. Thanks for watching.